So this is the the next step in getting the install of this tankless water heater. It's a propane tankless water heater. Uh, it's geared to actually run the entire domestic hot water system of the, of the house. Uh, but there has been some problems since the unboxing. And so as I dig into it and go, oh, look at this brand new tank, uh, this is great. Then I start to realize that the company um, and I would have to say that the company is not being uh, egregious or even uh, malevolent in what they're doing. Uh, what they're doing is they're trying to make a profit. They're trying to give a very cheap, affordable, tankless hot water heater to people so they can just do an easy install, but they're not supplying all the parts because it's relatively expensive to do it. So let's just walk through on what happened. So the first thing that happened is um, my instruction manuals came. And my instruction manuals literally came, uh, one was very basic that did not tell about the install at all. And the one that told about the install actually came only in Spanish. Now, I'm not fluent in Spanish. I know a little bit, uh, like for example, this uh, vent pipe is gonna get muy caliente. I know that, it's gonna be very hot. Uh, and you don't wanna put this straight into a wall and not make sure that you're protecting your wall from fire because this is gonna heat up. Uh, this is the exhaust vent from the unit. So what I'm going to do is just kind of talk to you a little bit about of what should have happened. This is a single wall vent pipe. Okay. And to make sure that it would be installed safely, you need what is called a wall thimble. Now a wall thimble would be where the pipe would actually go inside this section here. You put this into your drywall and then you put your pipe through it like this. And then you have another wall thimble on the outside of your house to protect your house. And this comes out like that. Now, the problem is, is you see that this is not fitting. This is stainless and this is galvanized. Okay. It doesn't look pretty together. Okay. So just be aware of that there is a beauty, beauty part that you can do. You can buy these expensive stainless pieces or you can run down to your local big box supply store or hardware store and get this for relatively cheap. So I went with cheap. But the problem is, look at this. I have so much gap here. Well, we have a huge yellow jacket, uh, bald face hornet problem up here in Northern Idaho. And that is like perfect places for them to go. So what I've done is I figured out how am I gonna do this? So I got this universal um, downsizing cone just in the uh, gas vent session, uh, section at your hardware store. And I'm gonna punch it through like that. And the vent pipe is gonna go right through that like that on both sides of the wall. I'm going to measure the distance inside here as I push it through. You can see it doesn't come all the way through. So I'm going to measure the distance here and then I'm going to just cut the end so it'll slide out perfectly and then I'm going to silicone that joint too. So it'll be a nice snug fit when it comes out. I'm going to do the exact same thing going into the wall this way. Okay, I will cut this so it will fit right inside and go right through the wall like that. And that's how I'm going to make it work. Um, it's a relatively cheap fix compared to buying the very expensive stainless steel parts that you need. It would have been nice if the company had supplied that in their manual. The company in the manual, which by the way, I just want to give credit to the company. Uh, I emailed them and later that day they sent me the English version of everything. In fact, they even sent me the warranty uh, information that I didn't have come with this as well. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, what I found kind of humorous was my English instructions and the Spanish instructions. When you blow up the um, install picture to as high as you can go, um, it gives the information in kind of this weird mix Chinese English, but it's not really Chinese words and it's not really English words. It's just bad spelling. So <clears throat> bad translation. Anyway, beside the point, I just want you to know that you're going to run into that. This is not clear on how to install this at all. I think that's why the company says, go get a plumber. Uh, go get somebody that knows what they're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you need to pay attention to other people that do, or at least think they do and will do it the safe way. Uh, so one of the things that they also said in the warranty that I got in the email was they would not warranty their product without this piece. This piece is called a Y strainer filter. This piece here alone cost around $26 at the local specialized plumbing store. 
So you have to go to not a big box store, but you have to actually go to a plumbing store where professional plumbers go to get this, this part. So you have to go in the yellow pages for that. Okay, so let's kind of let you see that real quick. I'm going to have to drill a hole and then I'm going to actually have to cut a hole in my wall. I hate cutting holes in perfectly good walls. It's just something I don't like to do. So I want to be very precise on it. So what I did is I took a cardboard box and I just took this in and I just smashed it on that cardboard box and then twisted it to where it made a really good mark. And then I took a box knife and I cut out this hole here. So what I'm going to do with this hole, this cardboard that actually is this hole here is I'm going to take a screw and I am going to drill it right through the center, right onto the wall. After I make all my measurements to make sure I'm going into the wall where I want it to go. Once it's hanging on the wall like that, I'm going to just take a pencil, I'm going to draw around it because I don't have to worry about holding it and losing it. I'm just going to screw it right in. It should stay there safely. I won't lose my place or anything. And I'm just going to do it. If you want more security, do two screws because this area is going to disappear because I'm going to cut it out with this. Really quickly, I forgot to mention, um, how do I locate the hole from one side of the wall to the other? Well, I use this very, very long drill bit. It's a fourth of an inch. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill all the way through the wall. And I'm going to know from the inside out when it pops out, that's where I need to make my hole. I'm also going to draw a line about a half an inch lower and make my hole a little bit lower on the outside wall. Because for every foot, you need this to drop 7 eighths of an inch. Okay, and so that's, I think it's because if you have weather or rain or anything that gets up here, it should roll out. Also, if you have condensation on the pipe, you want it to roll out. So, and moisture in the air will condense on this thing uh, because it's so hot. So just be aware that you want this to be about a 7 eighths drop for every, uh, every foot. And so I'm going six inches through the wall, and so I'm going to make sure that I go at least a half an inch uh, in drop. Um, I do find it a little bit uh, in poor practice to not advertise that you need to have these things when you purchase the product to say you have to have these things for safety. Here's the base model, and then you need to actually have these safety vents uh, put in place. So that's um, but that's sketchy, and I think that all these companies are kind of getting getting their startup and they're doing this. And they're expecting you to get a professional plumber that's going to fix that for you and do it for you. If you don't have that professional plumber and you're uh, a do-it-yourself fix-it person who has the ability to work with your own hands, uh, you just got to be aware that there's you, it's not a complete picture that you're getting there. All right, so that's all I got for you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. What I'm going to do now is take off with my tape measure and start making measurements. Make sure I put the hole in the right spot because you don't want holes going in the middle of nowhere in your closet. And then um, we'll have this probably hooked up later. Thanks. Mm -hmm.